Hi guys! I am so excited to come on here again because I was at TJ Maxx. So I've got another TJ Maxx finds for you guys. So if you want to see what I found, stick around. So the first thing that I found at TJ Maxx was this from Philosophy. It is the Sugar Plum Fairy Set. And you can see it says here that it retails for $27. And it was $16.99 at TJ Maxx. I absolutely love stuff from Philosophy. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. Okay, so in there you get the Sugar Plum Fairy, um, and it's basically body wash, hair wash, um, all that good stuff. I love this. They come out with this one every holiday season. We're going to open it. Oh, it smells so amazing. I mean, and if you look inside, it looks kind of sparkly. Mmm. So I've always tried to track this, this one down, the Sugar Plum one. And I always, every year, have a hard time finding it, so I'm glad that I found it this year. And then it comes with the body lotion, which smells exactly as yummy as the wash. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to use these guys. Great find. The next thing that I found was these cute little beauty sponges. And it was by Bella Beauty, and you got three sponges in here for only $6. And it comes, look at this cute little, oh, well, I just broke it. This cute little packaging, and you could basically hang it on the trees for the holiday. How cute is this? So the last couple of things in here that I got, I was, I couldn't believe that they had it. Let's get rid of this bag. Get out of the way. They had these guys the glam glow pout mud and these are basically like lip balm treatments and they they had so many of them if I could I would have grabbed every single one but two will do for now um, I got this one in sugar plum and these are tinted so and they were only $12.99 for these little guys and glam glow is pricey but in my opinion they're they they are worth being pricey so it comes in this cute little ball and then you have your tinted moisturizer in there these things i absolutely love their lip products because you know in the winter when it is like really, really cold out and your lips get really dry and chapped. These keep your lips so silky and so smooth. Oh, it's amazing. And the other one that I got was in Scarlet. Same cute little packaging. I mean, these are so tiny, you just throw them in your bag. Dipped my finger in a little too hard, but let's give this one a swatch. That is scarlet, and they're so soft. Like, they really, oh, and they smell nice. They have like a, a peppermint smell to them. Let me give you guys a swatch of the other one. And this is Sugar Plum. I'm going to swatch it right here, and it's very light. It's a very light tinted moisturizer, and that's it right there. And I like it too because... It has a little bit of, a little bit of like shine to it, which when you don't want to put on anything on your lips, you just toss that little tinted moisturizer on and you are good to go. Those are well worth it. The other two things that I found in there were both by Cargo and I got the Wonderlust palette and the Emerald City palette. So let's open this one. We're going to open up Wonderlust first. And these were only $10. Paid $10 in TJ Maxx for these guys. 
so. Okay, so this is what the outside of the Wonderlust palette looks like. Oh. And the inside has the little foily piece. We're just going to get rid of that. It has a mirror. And then it has these beautiful colors. So inside, there are 12 beautiful colors. And it comes with a little brush. And let's just give this a swatch. Because I haven't, as you can tell, haven't tried it yet. So let's see. Let's do Discover, Wander. These are very pretty light shades. And Travel. So this is Discover, Wander, and Travel. And we'll do Festival. Oh, this is a very light green. And then we'll do light. Oh, these are a little patchy. Navigate. So here we have the festival, which is very light. It's a very pale green. And this one is light. And this one is navigate. They're all very light shades, which is very nice. I like this. I can already see in here like a couple of holiday looks right off the bat that I can think of. So now let's do the next row, which is explore, curious, well that's a very pretty color, and then voyage. They're very patchy. I hope they don't go on patchy. So here is explore, curious, and voyage. These are very, very pretty colors. I'm excited to try this one. This is Rome. Oh my word. Before we continue swatching, look at that. That is Rome. Oh, that color is screaming my name. And then we have desire and dream. Rome, desire, and dream. Now, dream here, let me show you. So you see the swatch? It looks like a very, very, very dark purple. But in the pan, it looks just like a regular purple. I'm curious to see how that is going to apply. So that was the Wonderless palette from Cargo that I was able to pick up in TJ Maxx for only 10 bucks. Okay, so this is the outside packaging. It's absolutely adorable. Look at all of these little like Christmas balls and lights. It's so pretty. And then the, uh, the back is just plain. But this packaging is so adorable. Same thing as the other one. You, you get a mirror on the inside and then you get these 12 beautiful colors and the brush. Okay, so let's get swatching. So we have Northwest. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Fairy, it's another light color. And Space Needle. So this one is Northwest. Look at that. This would make an amazing highlight. Holy, I can't get over this color. Then right here is... Fairy, which is just a very light, light brown, which would be very good as a transition shade. And then this one is Space Needed. It's just another, like, another pearl color. But that first one, look at that, Northwest? Yes. I could see using that definitely as a highlight. Most, most definitely. The next one is Yakima? I think that's how it's pronounced. And then we have Seaport. And then the Hill. Oh man, these are very patchy. Can you see that? So right here is Yakima. It's just a very nice light golden brown shade. Then this one is Seaport, which is just a very light... Hmm, like a light gray color. 
And then here we have the hills, which seems patchy, but it's a, a green. Guys, I really hope that these shades don't go on patchy. Okay, so in the next row, we have Lake Union. Oh, that's pretty. Pier 52 and Pike Place. So, look at these colors. They look very similar, though. This is Lake Union, Pier 52, and Pike Place. They look very similar, but I'm liking this one. This one is definitely calling my name. Then we have Coffee and Mount Rainier. So patchy. And Fremont. So right here is Coffee. Mount Rainier and Fremont. Okay, guys, so that was my TJ finds for this trip to TJ Maxx. Uh, I was hoping to find other stuff. I know I've been seeing a lot of posts and stuff that people were were finding a lot, a lot of the good, good bargains. Uh, unfortunately, the one by me, this is all that they had on this trip, but. I'm always on the lookout. I'm always in there. And I have my older daughter trained. She scours the shelves like she knows packaging and what stuff looks like. And I just walk in with her and I'm like, do your thing. She goes to one side. I go to the other side. We meet back up and we discuss our finds. But on this trip, they really didn't have too much oh, so. until my next TJ Maxx finds video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.